Hi, friends. In December, I posted this picture on my community tab. It's a bunch of craft kits that I got for Christmas because Santa knows me so well. And, well, you guys said you wanted to see some of them, so this week I'm going to work on my first one. It's this Latch Kits Yarnimals kit. I chose this one because it doesn't look like anything I've ever seen before. It's like a mesh form and you loop yarn in it. It kind of looks like latch hook. You know, when you used to make those rugs as a kid? But I really hope I'm not doing latch hooking on this whole form. The advertising is kind of funny though because they show a girl holding it like it's a stuffed animal. But it has a plastic base, so I can't imagine it's super cuddly. It is pretty cute though, so let's try it. Inside the box, there's a butt ton of yarn, a giant mesh frame, this little pack of tools containing a little heart, what looks like a crochet hook, and some eyes, more yarn, and instructions. <laughs> this looks terrifying. Wait, how do you know where to do the colors? I thought it would be like color coded or marked or something. I guess the heart is for practice. It says to put the heart inside to fill the koala with love. Gross. I am going to start by practicing on the heart. I'm following the instructions using a 24 inch string, putting the tool through a square from the front to the back, making a loop with the yarn, and then pulling the tool back through. It says to leave a half inch loop, then go into an adjacent square and make another loop, and on and on. Sweet sassy molassy was this frustrating. The hook is so tiny, so most of the time it only grabs some of the strands of yarn, so when you pull it through, it bunches up in the back. So I tried double looping the yarn to secure it, but then you can't fit the dang hook through the hole. Sometimes it just pulls out the loop next to it that you already did. So most of the time is spent redoing loops that you either pulled out on purpose or on accident. This kit is supposed to be for kids. I get a lot of compliments on my patients, but if you could hear the amount of swearing going on and see the amount of times I threw this down in frustration. But I am persistent, if nothing else, so after finishing this heart, I'm as ready as I'll ever be to move on to the koala. The instructions say I'm going to work on each of the halves individually, then snap them together at the end. First, I need to pop these dreamy little eyes in. It was not easy. I was afraid that I was going to break the mesh pushing on it so hard. Am I weaker than an eight-year-old? Finally, at least it's less soulless looking now. Okay, now to figure out where the colors go. You have to count the squares? Are you kidding me? I'm gonna mark this up with some markers to help myself out. But the problem soon becomes apparent that the guide doesn't match the actual mesh form. It has extra lines that don't actually exist, the colors don't follow the actual squares that well, and the face isn't even centered on the picture. Did no one test this? I spent far too long counting and trying to follow the stupid guide before I just gave up and drew out what I felt like looked right. Now for the actual latching. I still didn't really have a great technique by this point. I was still struggling with the yarn thread separating, the loops pulling out, and not being able to get the hook through the hole. It's also incredibly awkward to film. But by the time I finished the face, I felt like I found my groove. So in case anyone is actually planning on doing this kit, let me save you some stress and show you what I found worked for me. First, the most comfortable working position I found 
was sitting with the mesh form either on a desk in front of me or elevated on a pillow on my lap. I also found that I mostly worked with the back side of the form facing up. I did have to turn it over every once in a while, but a lot of times I could work in long stretches without having to flip it over at all. But the actual latching found that leaving a couple of inches of slack yarn, then looping the yarn and holding it tight around the hook while pulling it back through the square really cut down on the yarn separating or pulling out old loops. Then I was able to pull the loop until the yarn was tight against the back, then pull the slack piece of yarn until the loop was the right size. Most of the time I could see the loop through the form, so I didn't have to flip it over to check that it was the right size. For larger holes, I filled them with multiple loops. Like I would do a loop in the large hole, do another loop in the next hole, and then go back and do another loop in the large hole. For the smaller holes, sometimes I could angle the hook and it would go through, sometimes it just took my brute eight-year-old strength, and sometimes it just wouldn't fit at all and I skipped that hole. The instructions said to work in small sections instead of straight back and forth lines, so I did work in small chunks, starting mostly with the middle areas and working my way out. Getting into tight areas like the fold of the neck was pretty difficult. So sometimes I felt like I was just flying blind. To finish off each section, the instructions say to hook into a non-adjacent square to secure it. Honestly, I tried including and skipping this step, and I couldn't really tell you if it's necessary. The instructions say that you can leave the strings on the end or snip them off, but I was afraid of them catching and pulling. Plus, I like things to be really neat, so I snipped all of them off but the whole process makes me nervous not truly securing anything. I also was able to work with much longer strings once I got comfortable, so that really cut down on the loose ends. But this was not a quick project by any means. I worked on this for about 30 hours total. I will say, after the first frustrating couple of hours, once I got the technique down, it wasn't really that difficult so I was able to watch TV or listen to a podcast while I was working. After all of the latching was finished, I threw the heart in to fill the koala with sass instead of love, because that's all I have. And then I snapped it together. Well, honestly, I think I snapped it together, because with all of the yarn around the edge, it's impossible to see what you're doing. I kept trying to look and see if it was hooked and accidentally pulling it apart but eventually it stopped falling apart in my hands, so I think I got it. So now he's finally done. He's absolutely not perfect, and if I had had more time, I probably would have tried to fix some of the unevenness in the loop sizes, added some more loops to make the mouth and cheeks stand out, or even added a layer of glue to the inside to make sure the yarn doesn't get pulled out. But it was almost 9 p.m. the night before I was gonna post this video, so it had to be finished. My thoughts on this kit, once you get the hang of it, it's not a bad project to keep your hands busy, but I don't think it's a kid's project. I'm a mostly grown adult and I struggled with it. They do have two other kits, but you know me, I always want to figure out how to customize a kit to my liking. If they sold plain blank mesh forms, it could be pretty fun designing your own colors and designs on top of it but they don't sell those anywhere I could find, and I wouldn't have the first clue how to make one. So that's definitely a wrap on this latch kit. What do you think? Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.